your prison sentence never finishes. You just carry the stigma the whole time. My name is Dean Salem. I'm uh, 51 years of age, a father of five, and I am a writer, an artist, and an activist for prison reform and getting better deals for outsider artists. When you're in prison, you know, it's, it's the whole package. Your mind is, you might as well put bars around your face and around your head because that, that, that's how it claustrophobic it feels. <laughs> <laughs> I've served five and a half years in prison in total. Um, and it was, it was in prison that I accessed art and art entered my life. Um, before that, I had no trust in art. It never put food on the table. It never paid the bills which is a common uh, perception of anyone from a working class background. This is um, number 45 Claremont Road. I lived in that house for 20 years. I told my brother I was coming this day, quite. he went, well, I drove through there the other day with my new girlfriend, right? And she's Romanian. And he went, oh, I was brought up round here. And she said, she said, this is worse than Romania. <laughs> Once I accessed art and art became part of my life, my life became a better place. Daniel, to you by now, is a sponge that you... Um, currently, the project that I'm running at the moment is called D-Bard. Um, we're a theatre company made up entirely of men and women that have all experienced something in the criminal justice system. And we're putting on a play reading tomorrow at the Royal Court Theatre. <laughs> The whole point about working with former prisoners is that it's a way of expressing themselves. Special name. Well, they haven't got a name. The prisoners don't have a name. We have numbers. Yeah, we have numbers. Two letters, four numbers. NX3669. It's just massive, massive steps, and that can only help to build confidence, to work on self-esteem issues, because expressing yourself is the best way to release yourself from stuff that is, has actually imprisoned you. It's like, he's saying the same things as what Mr Mack is saying. It's changed my life, it's given me confidence. People within the prison, they lack that self-confidence because they've never achieved anything applaudable other than, well, probably getting away with a crime. <laughs> the system, no, you, can't, you can't beat the system. When I was in Wandsworth prison, for instance, 2,000 men, 13 are allowed on a six-month art course. In prison, there's only the equivalent of. So that when you come out with an armful of certificates, they're worthless on the outside world because they're not recognised by the outside world. And as soon as you produce these certificates, they know that you've been in prison. So as soon as they know you've been in prison, they wonder why you're in prison. And society gets what society wants. You done bad, therefore you're going to be treated accordingly. Do nothing to engage with! Wow. What? Andrew. <laughs> yes. Hush. D-Bard want to be the first, want to be pioneers of saying, look, we are former prisoners, but we're just as talented as you, and we want to be looked upon fairly and we want to be taken accordingly and taken seriously. I'm thinking about asking you to exhibit for me again. I'm a visual artist as well as a writer. With outsider artists, it's far more supportive of each other's work. The exhibition space could definitely house these and walls are massive. Mm -hmm. Art tackles re-offending. Art is a great tool for rehabilitation. Right. He was in trouble. He was in prison a while as well. Because we're all living proof of it. None of us have re-offended. None of us have gone back inside. He said, and you're paying in sold. And I went, oh, great, how much? He said, 250 quid. I'm like, oh, God. I do 10 Mickey Mouses now, you know. And uh, I rung my brother that night, and my brother said, um, no, brother, he said, it's not about how much you sold the paint painting for. He said, I watched it all night. He said, people kept coming up and whispering. He said, and then a red dot went on it. He goes, but that means it's sold, and that means it's now hanging in someone's house. Your painting left Wandsworth Prison, went on the wall of a really posh gallery, and now it's hanging in someone's house. That's what it's all about. It's about the journey of communication that it took. If you let art into your life, you can communicate. If you can communicate, you can mix. If you can mix, you can share, and that's when the world becomes a nice, nicer place to live in.